Ja, 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 ja. Kom ned, sit her. Se om den er. Se om den er. Kom ned. Hej, hej. This is Wang Di. He's a Thai Ridgeback from Thailand. Woohoo. Hey, I'm ready. Right, ready? And he's going to teach us how to do a downward dog. But first of all, we've got to give a treat. He'll probably disappear now. Hey, it's like that. There you are. Good boy. So this morning's class is going to be for 30 minutes. Boom. Um, probably all of what we've done over the last couple of weeks, we're going to do the normal warm up. We're going to do some twisting and turning. Remember to breathe. If it hurts, stop doing it. And we're going to get onto our feet as well. A few downward dogs. Mandy's going to be, well, he might be there. He's going to disappear in a minute after he's had his treat. I can't keep him there forever. And then, yeah, we do some warrior poses. And then eventually we come down onto the mat, maybe do a pigeon pose or something like that. And then we're coming to Shavasana for maybe two or three minutes just to reflect on our day. So what we're going to do is um, bring our awareness into the body. Try to remove any thoughts you have on the outside. So forget anything that's gone on. Uh, throughout the week, over the, the, the last few hours and the evening, or any future thoughts you have. So the next 30 minutes is just for you. And me and Wang Di here. He's got his camouflage vest on, so hopefully um, he might blend into the, the flooring and things like that. So if you start sitting cross-legged, sit nice and tall. Try to lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders, nice long neck, and just close your eyes. And just tune into your own being, your own awareness, your body. Try to remove any thoughts that you have. So the little monkey mind that keeps chattering to you all day long, just open the gate and let him run around for the field for half an hour. Imagine you've got no history. Try to bring a sense of calmness over your body. Start to bring your awareness on your breath, on your breathing. Notice the coolness as you inhale through the nose and gently exhale through the mouth or nose. your attention wanders, bring it back. Your mind wanders, just bring it, your attention back to the breath. Just calming the mind. On your next inhale, inhale deeply through the nose, down the throat, into the lower belly, the abdomen, expanding the lungs, expanding the rib cage, breathing in deeply right up to the top of your lungs, the collarbone. Just briefly pause for a moment and then take a nice, long, smooth 
exhale gently through the mouth longer than the inhale expelling all the toxins from the lungs until you're unable to breathe out any longer and briefly pause again take a nice deep inhale through the nose filling the lower belly the lungs expand the rib cage outwards filling the lungs to the top of the collarbone and briefly pause and then take a nice long smooth calm exhale gently through the mouth expelling all the toxins from the lungs briefly pause again take a nice deep inhale through the nose expanding the lungs breathe deeply and just gently pause and then a nice long smooth gentle exhale through the mouth expelling all the air from the lungs <coughs> and then return to normal breathing and then gently allow the light to come into your body now dogs they can they're very good at um when they go for a walk they, they haven't got anything else in their mind except what the flower there so they really live in the moment and that's what we should spend more time doing rather than listening to the voices in our head this is wang di all the way from thailand so inhale the arms up <laughs> exhale fold Just fold where it's comfortable for you. <laughs> then walk your hands over to the right hand side so your heart's over your knee. Lengthen the right arm. Exhale, release. Walk over to the left side. Exhale, fold. Just go where it's comfortable for you, so don't force anything. We're just warming up the body, loosening up. Release, come back to centre. Walk your hands back towards your body. Swap the cross of your legs. Inhale the arms up reach up, exhale, fold, release, walk your hands back towards your body, Bring your hands to the side on the mat, inhale the arms up, reach up, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders, breathe in and breathe out, draw the belly in, rotate the right, so left hand on right knee and just Gently rotating the torso, sit nice and tall, chin on the horizon. Listen to your body, release, come back to centre, inhale, the arms up, reach up, draw the belly in, rotate to the left, Right hand on left knee, sit nice and tall. We're just loosening, warming the spine up, the spinal fluid.
exhale release come back to center inhale the arms up reach up lengthen the spine lengthen the neck release the shoulders right arm down first of all just slide walk the hand away from the body then reach the left arm up reach up and over so you feel a stretch down the left hand side of the body remembering to breathe exhale release inhale the arms up exhale place the left hand on the mat just walk the hand away reach up with the right arm and reach up and over feel the stretch on the right hand side of the body Exhale, release. Bring your hands together in front of you. Interlace your fingers. Press away. Inhale. Arms by your ears. Try and touch the ceiling. Exhale. Lower the arms. Just bring the fingers up one digit. Press away. Inhale. Reach up. Lengthen. Exhale. Release the arms. Come on to all fours. So spread your fingers wide, hands below shoulders, knees directly below the hips. We're going to do a few cat, few cat, cat and cow. Sorry, Wendy. I know you like little cats, don't you? So when we're ready, we're just warming up. So tilt the tailbone to the sky, release the belly, open, lift the heart. Open the chest, look up. Inhaling. Exhaling, draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone. Press down with the hands, stretch the top of the back. Release, inhale. To cow. Exhale. To cat. Inhale. Exhale. Follow the rhythm of your own breath. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the belly towards the spine. Press down with the hands to stretch the top of the back. Release the belly, inhale, exhale. Come into tabletop pose, engage the core, send the left leg back, pressing into the heel. Find your balance, spread your fingers wide. Reach the right arm forward. Keep holding. Option one, stay in this position. Option two, bend the left knee. Sweep the arm back. You can hold the foot if you wish, looking forward. Pressing the foot to the ceiling. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently release. 
back to spinal balance and release. Swap to the other side. So the right leg goes back, pressing into the heel. Nice and level. Left arm goes forward. Lengthen the body. Find your balance. Draw your energy towards your centre line of the body. Option one, stay in this position. Option two, bend the right knee, sweep the arm back, facing forward, press the foot into the ankle. Hold for five, hold for four, three, two, one. Gently release, back to spinal balance, and then release. Knees to the outer edge of the mat, toes together, sit on your heels. You're going to go into child's pose. So try and get your hips down onto your heels as best as you can and then we're just going to walk our hands down the mat into child's pose. So lengthen the spine and allow the forehead to come onto the mat. Just do what you can. Close your eyes for two breaths. Release. Walk your hands back towards your body and bring your knees so they're about hip width apart. Place your hands on the mat, fingers spread wide, the, the index finger paint, pointing forward, the wrist crease parallel to the top of the mat. Externally rotate the arms so the elbow crease is also pointing forward and tuck your toes under. Gaze at the top end of the mat and then imagine you're being pulled to the ceiling by your hips. So you're tilting the tailbone to the sky and we're going to come into downward dog, my knee. So when we're ready, just bring your knees off the mat a few centimetres first and then just raise your hips to the ceiling, tilt the tailbone and then when you're up, up here pressing back the tops of the legs you're trying to lengthen the spine, the belly is drawn in, your neck is it an extension of your spine so just make sure your neck's nice and comfortable and then you can start Say it quietly, or else he would be, uh, he'd be wanting to put his lead on. We've been out already this morning, so stretching one calf and the other. Do you reckon we're going to be any good from a downward dog? Rubbish. Because my downward dog is rubbish. So loosening up, warming up the body, and then we're just going to walk our feet up between our hands. And you can rest your ribs onto your lower legs, bent knees, hold your elbows. And then just close your eyes, release your neck and head, and just water fall over the top of the legs.
Gently open the eyes, bend the knees slightly, and just come up to standing very, very slowly. Nice and gently. Up to standing, tuck the tailbone. Draw the muscles towards the bone. Your palms are facing forward. Your shoulders are relaxed. You have a nice long neck. Take a breath. And then we're going to sweep our arms up. Reach up and then exhale. Fold over the front legs. Just engage the core to protect the lower back. You can bend your knees. Just fold. Then inhale. Half lift. So we're trying to keep the back nice and flat, the neck nice and long, like a tortoise. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, bend in the knees, draw the belly in. Inhale. And then exhale, fold over again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Right foot back, left foot back. Plank, tuck the tailbone, weight over your hands, hands below shoulders. Then lower your knees, lower your chest, to the mat, keep your elbows tucked in, slide along the mat, untuck the toes, come into cobra, breathe in, exhale, tuck the toes, come back into downward dog, raise the right leg up, Bend the knee and open the hip. You can look under your left armpit if you wish, but just make sure your neck's comfortable. Straighten the leg. Step between your hands. First of all, just come up onto your fingertips, your spines. Nice and long. Place the hand, left hand down, rotate to the right, bringing the right arm up. Again, place your neck where it's comfortable. So you might find looking down at the mat's more comfortable. Release the hand, lower the knee, untuck the foot. Inhale the arms up, sink downwards, so the weight of your body, so you're feeling a stretch at the top of the quad, all your body sinking down and forwards, gazing forward, relax your shoulders, keep remembering to breathe. Release, hands to the mat, tuck the toes under, back to downward dog. Lengthen the spine, draw the belly in, tailbone pointing to the ceiling. Bring your weight forward into plank. Tuck the tailbone. So option one. Knees, chest, chin, cobra like we did before. Option two, lower halfway. Come off the toes and inhale, facing dog. 
relaxing the shoulders. You don't want the, the shoulders up by your neck, crunching your neck. Breathe in. Tuck your toes under, exhale, downward dog. Raise the left leg, bend the knee and open the hip. Straighten the leg. Step through. Allow some space between your body and your leg. May come up onto your fingertips, knee above ankle, directly above ankle. Place your right hand on the mat, rotate left. Place your neck where it's comfortable. Tune into your breath, tune into your breathing. Release the hand to the mat, lower the knee, untuck the foot, then allow the hips and the legs to sink towards the mat, then sweep your arms up, Again, tune into your breath, tune into your breathing. Release, hands to the mat, spread your fingers wide, wrist crease plankton forward, downward dog. Raise the right leg. Then draw the knee to the chest, bring your weight over hands for one. Bring your knee, right knee to left elbow for two. Now this time, the right knee is going to go behind the right hand. The left leg goes long and flat. We're coming into pigeon pose. So just walk your hands back towards your body. Squeeze your thighs. See if you've got any power in your leg, your balance. If not, just keep supporting with your hands. So option one, stay in this position if you wish. Option two, you can come down onto your elbows. The idea is to keep your hips as flat as possible. To deepen the twist, you bring your foot more parallel to the top of the mat. Option three, you can reach forward. Place your forehead on the mat. Allow the weight of the body to sink into the mat. Take a couple more breaths. Walk your hands back towards your body. Oh, downward dog. Not an upward dog, Wendy. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then downward dog. Raise the left leg. 
draw the knee to the chest. Send the leg back up. Left knee to right elbow. Send the leg back up. This time right knee goes behind right hand. Bring the chin forward to deepen the twist. Right leg goes long and flat. It's option one. Just stay in this position. If you wish. Or come down to your elbows. Try and keep your hips. A lot of people sort of fold over the legs, so you want to try and keep your hips square, flat, and then reach forward. And just allow the whole body to sink into the mat. Take a couple more breaths. Just walk your hands back towards your body. Just sweep your legs around. So we're going to go into Shavasana. And it's a recovery pose. Rejuvenation. Um, so we have our feet just over hip width apart, our feet are hanging open, we sit long and flat on the mat. Now you can stay in here as long as you wish, it's up to you. you and stay there all day you can. Palms facing up. Tuck the shoulder blades under your body so your chest is proud. Also just lower, tuck your chin slightly. So you're on the back of your head. Just close your eyes and just let everything go. Allow calmness to wash over your body. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your nose. Relax your mouth, sink, let go, let go, let go.
keeping your eyes closed bring your awareness back to your body wiggle your fingers and toes and keeping your eyes closed bend your knees raise your arms up and over your head reaching into your fingertips take a deep inhale take a stretch and keeping your eyes closed roll onto your right hand side Keeping your eyes closed, come up to a seated position, sit nice and tall, just tune into your breath for a moment. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Thank you for coming to the class this morning. May peace go with you. Om Shanti. And you can open your eyes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wangi's gone board uh, he's had his treat so uh, I think for us more it is his um, part of the contract he'll have a treat but anyway he's gone so thank you very much um, so all my videos that they are on YouTube so um, you can find them there just breathe yoga with Ian Monday you can subscribe and you'll get a notification when they all when I do a new ones posted on there there's 30 minutes and 60 minutes all different ones so thank you very much have a beautiful day see you later Thank you.